Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about why I believe we need the zodiac sign Taurus. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, uh, first reason I look at well, why we need Taurus is because of their calmness and composure uh, in adversity and crisis situations. A very unflappable. Uh, NFL, a prolific NFL quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, has a, a Taurus ascendant, and I've seen him on, on occasions. Uh, he will be very unflappable under duress, and uh, he will uh, complete passes that that are unbelievable in, in crunch time, and that is very strong uh, Taurus energy, I believe, coming out uh, right there. Uh, you can count on them generally to stay calm in crisis situations. Now, Another thing, too, I look at is uh, why we need Taurus is because of their perseverance as well in adverse uh, situations and circumstances. You look at uh, former uh, NFL coach Jeff Fisher. I don't know if he's former 100%. He may come back. But anyway, he has a Taurus moon, and um, he uh, embodies a lot of this perseverance uh, in Taurus. He uh, I believe it was the 2002 NFL season. The, the Titans uh, started like 1-4. and four. Uh, they fin wound up finishing 11 and 5. They made it all the way, I believe, to the AFC title game. And I think a lot of that had to do with uh, Jeff Fisher under duress, being very calm and composed and turning things around. I think he also said he was going to turn this thing around. And sure enough, he did another Taurus type. Uh, uh, really kind of, kind of energy because Taurus generally come th comes through on what they say they're going to do and they often Taurus people often carry on despite negative or adverse circumstances now another thing about Taurus why I think we need them as well is because of uh, their their persistence and the fact that they will stay with it, their stick to itiveness unlike uh, Gemini for example who could be very flighty and and very, uh, I mean, not stable in terms of finishing uh, things out. They're very erratic. You look at Taurus as almost the antithesis of that. They will often stay with projects that will daunt uh, less determined types, whether it could be doing a layout in a retail store or they're in some construction project, something that could be time consuming and tedious. Taurus will often weather the storm despite setbacks, unlike most of the other signs. So that's another reason we need Taurus now. Another reason we need Taurus, too, is because of their loyalty and steadfastness. They are one of the most tenacious friends in the Zodiac, and they often, I mean, I would say maybe next to Aquarius, they can often be uh, the most loyal and steadfast and persistent friend uh, that one may have. So, for those reasons, I do think, I mean, I do think uh, Taurus is, I mean, that is why we do need the zodiac sign Taurus. Now, um, another thing, and this, this is a little maybe tied into what I'm just saying about their, their loyalty and steadfastness and persistence as a friend. Now, I don't know, I mean, about you people, but I've noticed like with Taurus, they seem like they have a strong tendency uh, to stay in relationships that are detrimental to them lo longer than most people. I think a lot of that is attributed to their unbound loyalty. Sometimes it's their complacency and their unwillingness to move on, I believe, in a relationship scenario or situation. But you're thinking, well, how is this? Why do we need Taurus for that reason? Well, sadly, even though Taurus may be doing something to their own detriment, they're doing something that's beneficial, sadly, to other people. And Taurus will often stay in those relationships that are having a negative impact on them. But but uh, but what it is is for the uh, person on the other side, that significant other to Taurus or what have you, or close ally or friend, uh, it's beneficial to them because they still have that loyal friend. But I don't encourage Taurus to do this. Uh, of course, I, any Taurus person, Taurus sun, moon, ascendant person seeing this, I hope they understand this. And sometimes they will stay in those relationships for a protracted period of time that they don't need to. Anyway. Well, another thing about why we need Taurus is because they are, um, they could be very, I mean, well, I, what I wanted to get at too is though, at the same time, Taurus is certainly no pushover, and they will eventually depart a relationship that is adverse to them after they've reached their point of endurance, and they will often stay away from that relationship 
that same endurance and persistence and steadfastness, so to speak, that they did when they actually were in the relationship with that person. So anyway, now another reason why I think we need Taurus uh, is because of their calmness, their tranquil influence on their friends, their family. They're often a stabilizing uh, force on, in, a, in a connection. Um, they often can kind of subdue and stabilize the more excitable, high-strung types like Gemini or Leo. So for those reasons, I do think, I mean, that is another reason why we need Taurus. If, uh, if they have a friend, say, that's going through a crisis or some adversity, Taurus will often be that one to come over and calm them down and say, okay, let's rationalize this. This is how we're going to work uh, this situation out. So uh, anyway, and um, another reason why we need, need Taurus is because uh, the fact that when uh, whatever Taurus uh, is doing, whether it's a relationship situation or they're working on something, often it's connected with something that's very sustained and enduring. Taurus doesn't like to do things that are just going to maybe uh, last for a short period of time and then move on. Often in their relationships, they want something very protracted and prolonged, and they don't want to really leave it just after being in there for a, a month or two or what have you. They're not like the fly-by-night people, so to speak. They want stability. They want the longevity in a situation, whether it could be a job or a relationship situation, whatever it might be. They want something that often that's going to uh, stay for a very long period of time so that's another reason why we need the zodiac sign Taurus in our lives so and um, another thing about Taurus too is that why we need them is because they can often help uh, formulate uh, financial ideas for those that are less astute or proficient in monetary matters um, the thing about uh, the thing about Taurus is that they are often uh, ones uh, that they could help their friends out. They can help, you know, people that they know very well that might be going through an impoverished situation or they're at a lower stature in life and maybe set some kind of plan for them, formulate some kind of financial plan to help extricate themselves from their financial woes. So that is another reason why we need Taurus often and um uh, Steve Forbes, I don't know, his, forgot his exact title. He's lead like a publishing executive at Forbes and, uh, or, or some very, uh, you know, obviously um, a very a top position, a uh, very prominent figure at Forbes has a Taurus ascendant and he probably makes money uh, work for itself, I would imagine. I don't know his net worth, but I'm sure it's a very prodigious amount of money. And he is somebody I'm sure that doesn't have any a very little financial woes or worries. So anyway, another reason why I believe we need Taurus too is they often will do the mundane and tedious tasks without complaining. While you'll have some people do things that are tedious or time consuming or they, they might seem demeaning and they might complain about them, Taurus will often do these tests with a lot of enthusiasm and exuberance for uh, whatever reasons. Taurus often is uh, often very good at a subordinate or subservient uh, type role and they don't and I think Taurus often feels that almost all jobs have some significance to them because they are important for the people that they're doing them for. So for those reasons, I think Taurus is real. That's another reason why we need Taurus because they will be there often for us to do these tasks that a lot of other people will just be oblivious to or they just think they're too good to do. Last but not least, uh, another reason why we need Taurus is because I think uh, we'd have less proficient accountants, bankers, financial advisors, etc. People that would be astute in monetary matters, so people that would, uh, that do well and flourish in financial monetary fields. And Taurus also is about values. They often could be very good, like pawnbrokers. They often know the value of things very well and can have a strong affinity for positions associated with them. So I think for those reasons, we do need Taurus as well in our lives. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for why we need Taurus. Stay tuned.
you next time when I'll be talking about why we need Gemini. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.